what's up guys welcome back to our channel um this is a really exciting video as we kind of share a little bit about the birth story um with bennett and show you guys bennett and um also something very very important is we made a huge decision investment really for bennett and for her future and we're going to share what that is um this video is a little bit delayed the video was shot when um bennett was two weeks old and now she's two months old um in the video at the time i actually didn't even realize how tired and exhausted i was but you can really tell um i was going through a lot of postpartum stuff um, mentally um physically and if you do follow me on instagram you may have seen where i spoke a little bit about it and you know this video wasn't my priority um bennett was my prior priority getting myself right was my priority um and i could expect that everyone would understand that and they have and everyone's been amazing so I just want to hop on here quick before the video starts and say thank you to everybody and your patience. Thank you to California Cryobank. Thank you to CVR. Um, thank you to our families, um, you know, that have come up here and have helped us um, in these last two months. Um, just our friends, everyone has just been amazing. And we did. <laughs> hey, hi. We definitely have couldn't have gone through this um, without you guys. Um it's just been amazing. Bree's work family. I mean, I'm just, the list goes on. So thank you guys. And I hope you enjoy the vlog. There are millions of people out there, but in the end, it all comes down to one. We have traveled all over together. We have had the most beautiful and epic wedding day. fought the distance so many flights to and from Germany. We've celebrated so many amazing things together already. But now, it's time for our greatest adventure yet. How are you feeling? Anxious, nervous. We're about to go to the hospital in like 10 minutes. Last. Are you ready? Last day of being pregnant until we get to come through the doors. How cool. We got to vlog walking through the house for the first time. And then we're gonna walk through the house with our little girl. Yeah, we're excited. And we got Nana inside. Yeah. We got both the grandmas here. How are you feeling? I don't know. I feel like I'm going to probably throw up feeling once we get closer. It's like game day. Yeah. I got to get ready. I'm, I'm anxious and I'm not like even the one that's about to go through it. I need like a game day I've playlist. got, um, I've had like a Too bunch of, energy. bunch of sources of caffeine because we're starting at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. So it's going to be a long night. So I need to be awake. Got our black, my black bear shirt on. You know, we got to do it. That good luck. We are so ready. Look how little it is. I know. She says where Benny will go. When she's Cheated. born, we're here. And honey has a balloon in her. She'll There's start, a balloon in there. She'll start Pitocin around 3 a.m. It's currently 11? 10. 10? Oh, jeez. How do you feel? You I feel, feel very crampy. They're going to give me a sleepy. 
Yeah. Okay, Wooey. Hi, Benny. We cannot wait to meet you. We love you, sweet girl. I was a stranger in the crowd. You were a star up in the clouds. And when our eyes they finally met. Benny girl, we promise to love you wholeheartedly, unconditionally for the rest of our days. To encourage you, protect you, and support you. You are the light in our lives, a love like no other, our best friend. We love you, Benny Jet, Mommy and Mama. You show me worlds I never knew. You turn my darkness into blue. And now I'm feeling ten feet tall. Since you said. So Bennett was born July 19th at 5.04 oh, or 4 p.m. Um, at 39 weeks and it was a somewhat smooth delivery. Um, I don't even, we, I was induced um, the night before was okay. Um, I had gone in on like three energy drinks thinking it was going to start like that day. Yeah, it did not. Yeah. Well. Yeah, we were thinking that everything was gonna start that night, but then they waited. Um, so Bree got like no sleep. Um, but anyways, uh, Bennett came out pretty fast once they realized that I was ready in like five minutes. Um, and it was that part was actually pretty painless because I did have an epidural, but everything prior to the epidural was pretty miserable. Um, and the healing process has actually been nothing short of terrible. I'm not going to lie about it. It's something that people don't really talk about. Um, postpartum has been pretty difficult. As you can see, Bennett is being bottle fed. That is not how we um, predicted that this would go. We did. I did attempt to breastfeed. Unfortunately, I have a very fast flow, meaning like my breast milk comes out too fast for Bennett and she basically was choking and like drowning in the milk. So we had to uh, use the Dr. Brown bottles and I am pumping exclusively. Um, Just fine, cause now I can feed her. Yeah, so now Brie helps with feeding. So we're, we are figuring it out um, slowly but surely. It is an adjustment. She is amazing. She is such a sweet little girl um, and we are obsessed. Um, so if you do follow us on Instagram, you've probably seen a bunch of pictures and stuff of her and um, we are now making this video. So like I said, we're gonna open some gifts and then we're gonna talk about something super important that um, a decision that we made for Bennett um, that is gonna be a lifelong investment. Um, but let's get started with this. This, this is the, ba the baby's brew. That is, that is legit. This is awesome. It's a portable bottle warmer, which we can that definitely is. use. Um, this is awesome. For sure. This is from Brittany. Oh. From your work. That's sweet. Thank you so much. That is awesome. That Love literally, we, that's so perfect. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> There's oh, not. Brittany. Look. You like this? Cheers. Okay, if you sent this happy baby house, I play and learn. Super cute. There's literally nothing in here. No gift box, uh, receipt, nothing. It's an Amazon box with no name. Pam. Pam Ratcliffe, you know what? You are amazing. You're constantly supporting Frame of Mind and you sent us something. We love you, Pam. Oh, look. Oh. We were just, we. Oh, wow. Wow. That is awesome. We were just talking about needing some calming, um, like baby wash and stuff. This yeah. is so perfect. Two. Thank you, Pam. A blanket? I don't know. Just a blanket, maybe. 
to know i'm gonna try and look on the registry and see if i can super cute figure it out it's all this is all amazing and this will be put to such great use okay i think uni got the lamb thank you uni um pedro flores got the book thank you so much thank you um and we appreciate it so much Thank you guys. Thank you everyone who has sent stuff in the past. Um, you guys have no idea how much it means to us. It's, it's truly. Like we said, we made a lifelong, huge decision investment when it comes to Bennett. Um, and we had to make this decision before she was born. Um, and what we did is because we use California Cryobank for our donor, to find our donor who they were absolutely amazing. They're still amazing. They have become family through this whole thing. They cared um, through the process of finding the donor. They cared during your pregnancy, and they definitely care after. Um, so their sister company, CBR, um, is, new, is a newborn stem cell collection company, and we decided to invest and have Bennett's uh, stem cells um, through her cord collected at birth. You have one opportunity to do this and that is at birth. You can't decide to do this two weeks later, a month later. It has to be decided. Then it is such an easy, simple thing to do. It, the process was... You fill out the paperwork yeah. prior, go to the hospital, hand it to the nurses. So basically, we're going to we're gonna tell you a little bit about what this is. Um, but first and foremost, when you decide to do this, they call you, they get information and um, they send you this kit and I will put a little clip of what the kit looks like here because obviously we don't have the kit anymore. We have sent that off. So what this means is basically when Bennett was born, her stem cells were collected. They were sent to a lab and they are frozen and immediately that, that pauses the like growth. Like they are forever going to be that new stem cell. So if down the road Bennett gets sick or like, for example, God forbid, like leukemia or something like that, those stem cells could be used to help um, possibly make her healthy again. Like it had mentioned, like your body's own repair kit. Hey guys, pardon the interruption. Benny here, me. Um, real quick, Benny says that it's really boring and she says I should show you a video instead. So I'm going to show you a cute little animation video straight off the CBR website that explains how awesome stem cells are and really the whole process and like what the future medicine could possibly be with them. And Benny is super excited that her stem cells were collected when she was born. And yeah, enjoy the little video. Let's start with the basics. Cord blood has stem cells. Now that you get that part, we'll tell you what these powerful cells do, why everyone should consider saving them, and why scientists are so jazzed about their potential. See how jazzed they are? Let's get right to it. When a baby is born, there's a small amount of blood left in the umbilical cord. This cord blood is super valuable. Let's take a moment to get to know him better. Hello, cord blood. Time to go for a spin. Cord blood is full of all sorts of good stuff. But he's got one thing in particular that we're looking for. Pristine, powerful stem cells. Ah, there they are. They're like our body's own personal repair kit. They can produce any cell in our blood or immune system and may be able to help our bodies heal in new ways. That's why they're so important. Cord blood stem cells have already been used for over 25 years in the treatment of diseases like leukemia and sickle cell anemia, plus about 80 other diseases and conditions. They may even one day be used to help treat hearing loss, some congenital heart defects, and maybe even help children with autism or cerebral palsy. All that, and we're just beginning to tap into the potential of these cells. Saving your baby's cord blood now means your family will have access to these powerful stem cells in the future. And that could mean more possibilities for your family. 
That's definitely worth celebrating. So basically, this is just like a peace of mind for us to have that if at any point in her life, whether it's five years old, 10 years old, 30, 50, 60, she has these stem cells um, available to her for life if needed. Um, because otherwise you would have to maybe find like a stem cell transplant match and you're never going to find a hundred percent match like your Even own. Even if it's your siblings. Right. Not the same. Yeah. So like if she had a sibling down the road or, um, or me, like I might not be her match. So that wouldn't benefit her. So this is like her, her little protection kit that we will have and hope we hope she never has to use it you know like that's the goal but if she does we have that and it's a peace of mind for us so if you are going through fertility journey at all please check out california cryobank um and consider them as find to find your donor or if it's for egg retrieval or anything like that um and no matter what if you're a client of theirs and you do end up wanting to um do the stem cell collection oh. kit um, through CBR, which is again their sister company, you get um, once you register once you register your pregnancy and you um, let them know that you are pregnant, you do uh, qualify to get free processing for the stem cells and uh, free storage for a year, which is a huge huge deal. It's like a uh, a very good deal. So um, so um, if I'm gonna leave a bunch of links, a bunch of information, you can look it up yourself. Um, if you have any questions, I know do not hesitate to reach out to either of these companies. Um, even if you just wanna call and speak to them and get more information, they will speak to you. Um, again, it's California Crowd Bank and then uh, CBR is where the kit came from. We are so excited that we are starting this new adventure with Bennett actually finally here. Um, it has been a wild two and a half weeks. We have had little to no sleep. The we, beginning was rough. The beginning was very rough because we were told we couldn't co-sleep for the first week, meaning we, somebody had to always be up watching her. Thank God for our moms. Our moms were both here um, and they saved our lives, literally. Because of her choking and them trying to figure out what was going on, she was literally choking in her sleep. Like when we say not, there was a time in the hospital where we had to have about all the nurses rush in and she wasn't like breathing. Um, it was terrible. It was tra traumatizing. I think I still have PTSD over it. Um, but we weren't allowed to sleep together. We had somebody had to watch her constantly through the night. So the first week was exhausting. Um, the second week we got the okay that we she was doing better and we could. But as you probably could guess, it's still anxiety filled when she's sleeping. Um, but we are getting the hang of it. But now she's really good. Yeah, she actually hasn't had an episode since we started her on the bottle, since we've gotten down her, her little regimen of when she eats and how she has to eat. Um, but otherwise, she's perfectly healthy. And, um, we appreciate all the love and support through this whole entire, entire journey. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, follow us on Instagram. Follow Bennett on Instagram. She has her own Instagram. Um, and we love you guys and we appreciate you guys so much. We appreciate all the gifts, all the presents for Bennett. Everything has been put into full use <laughs> so far. Um, and we just are over the moon, in love, and definitely we are very, very thankful. So um, <laughs> she's sleep smiling. She also has a lot of angels watching over her. Oh, she was born with angel kisses, which are stork bites. So, which is a cool story. On the way to the hospital, I said, I wonder if Bennett's going to have a stork bite. And I was like, Brie, you know that means she kissed by an angel. And as you guys know, Brie lost her dad. And um, so it was super cool. Like, she's got a, a, a stork bite right in the middle of her forehead. And then two on her eyelids and on the back of her neck. So... She has some really important people watching over her, and it's pretty neat that she came down with those stork bites. And they do they do go away um, <laughs> eventually, but <laughs> she sleeps, smiles so much. Um, they do go away eventually, but they are super cute. All right, well, we're out of here. Um, some of the next videos are going to kind of go backwards because we never got to post them, but we figured you would like to see them, so... 
Um, anyways, this is Benny, and she says thank you, and we love you, and, um... You say thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you so much. It's so nice to finally meet you. <laughs> My name's Benny Harper. And lately, ben, um, oh. Bennett, um, Bree's been calling her Benny Jet. <laughs> B -b -b Benny in the Jets. Do, do. <laughs> mm. All right, we're out of here. Got a blast. Bye.